afternoon to all, welcome to Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. My name is Lucas Tan and I will be sharing on the property sector. I will start off by covering the various real estate subsectors before providing my key recommendations. We will start off with the residential subsector. The first property cooling measure started in September 2009. Through the past four years, there are a total of eight fiscal and monetary measures implemented. The high frequency of policy introduction is an indication of the government's intent on keeping residential prices in check. While the number of residential units sold continues to hold up, we believe that this is due to a momentum carried forward from prior launches. Market data tend to lag behind policy implementation. We expect to see the market softening over the remaining of 2013. In the office sector, we see stagnant movement in the rental value and capital value. This is due to a lack of large tenant movement and a void of buyers in the market. While the previous flight to quality team continues to play out, it is only the smaller tenants who are actively moving. In the remaining of 2013, there will be a large supply of office space coming to the market. The highlight of the new supply would be the impending TOP of Asia Square Tower 2. With the imminent increase in interest rate across the horizon, and the upcoming steady supply of office space over the next three years, we do not see much upside in this subsector. The retail sector remains the bright spot of the real estate sector. We continue to see high rents and capital values holding up. Additionally, we continue to see active addition of retail space in the central and fringe areas of the island. And the doctor evidence points to more international brands intending to open their flagship stores in Singapore. Increasingly, the art market brands are moving towards leasing shop fronts in the fringe shopping malls. This market phenomenon continues to provide strong demand for retail space. Domestic consumption continues to support the industry while tourism spending is expected to provide further upside for the sector. The industrial sector looks to be affected by the relative unattractive manufacturing export situation of Singapore. Strong Singapore dollar against other currencies will continue to hamper the demand growth for Singapore exports. We start to see weakness in this sector. The emergence of industrial sites in Iskandar, Malaysia will prompt more single-user factory to relocate their operations. Moving on, we continue to view the hospitality sector favorably, with major factors driving the hotel industry still intact. The trend of increasing tourism spending will be set to continue. The government's active participation and initiative continue to provide great impetus for tourism growth. Thus far, I have covered the major subsectors. Under our coverage, we continue to favor OUE and Amara Holdings for their exposure to the retail and hospitality sectors. Additionally, OUE's successful listing of its REITs provide the company with greater flexibility to embark on further real estate opportunities. As for Amara, its upcoming Bangkok hotel due for completion in 2014 and other overseas development continues to excite. Please refer to our reports on this company's 2Q13 earnings for further details. Thank you for tuning in to our weekly market watch.